Hello, a very good evening to you, and a very warm welcome to the Scotty McClue Show Live. Remembrance Sunday, Remembrance 2017. And uh, I thought I'd just welcome you all to the programme. Lots to talk about tonight. We're only here for one hour. One hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment, not just for one nation, but for all nations globally across the world. And tonight we will be talking about remembrance. Very, very important. So do let me have your opinions. Excellent to have you with us. I'm Scotty McClue. I am the world's top broadcaster, first lord of the internet. And of course, here we are for our 56th live show live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. Lovely to know you're all watching. Dylan Graham there, a shout out to Jennifer Piol, Jennifer Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue and from all of us around the world talking to you and saying hi. Lovely to have you with us tonight. Hope you're all well. Good evening, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Good evening, Steve. Lovely to have you with us as well, of course. And we seem to have got rid of the pings. So you might be hearing a very, very quiet ping. But that'll be the size of it, I would say. Hey, hey, Scotty, says Gary Donald. Dinky do, Gary. Lovely to have you with us. Derek McGonagall's watching. And uh, lovely to have you with us. Stephen McKenzie, dinky do to you as well from me, Scotty McClue. Excellent stuff. Remembrance Sunday. And have you had an interesting weekend? Do share with me if you were at the Cenotaph or a Cenotaph today. I'd be very interested. All right, Scotty, how's it going? Good evening, Scotty boy. Says Lawrence L.D. Dev. Tam Ramage is watching. You're looking lovely, Scotty. Says Rab. Thank you, Rab. Very kind of you. Uh, shout out to um, Sobbies is Agil Khan. Lovely to have you with us, Agil. And Michael Paul McVeigh. Good evening, Scotty. And greetings from the borders for Remembrance Sunday night. Excellent to have you all with us, of course. And uh, I hope you've looked at the Remembrance video that uh, we took last year. And it's been doing the rounds as well. Very, very important. Uh, good evening, sir. You're looking very dapper, says Alex Robertson. Thank you, Alex. Gordon Irvin's watching. Dinky-doo, Gordon. Lovely to have you with us. As always, Kevin Kerr's watching. Eric McKenzie. And uh, hi, Scotty boy, says John Robertson. Lovely to have you with us on our 56th Scotty McClue show. So there we are. Dinky-doo, we should always remember the actions of the generals. So there we are. Uh, says Ian Walker, and uh, he has a go at Field Marshal Haig. Don't be having a go at Field Marshal Haig, because he did his best, Ian. And uh, when I worked in Yorkshire, uh, there was a huge country house, the biggest country house in Europe. And uh, it was owned by a family who owned a lot of mines, and were a very, very kindly landowning family. And uh, Field Marshal Haig came to speak and... Uh, Thousands of miners crowded onto the front lawn of the great house, right onto the front lawn. And people thought, is this going to be all right? And the Earl said, yes, we don't need any soldiers. We don't need any mounted police. These are the miners, and they are here to hear Field Marshal Haig. And that was just after the First World War. So there you go, Ian. So don't believe all you hear, and don't get too bound up on all that nonsense. Uh, good evening, Sir David Fraser. Good evening, David. Dinky do. Scotty, have you had your eyebrows done? <laughs> my eyebrows are my eyebrows. And uh, it must be getting near. There'll be no World War II veterans left. Which is very sad, says Alfred James Wright. One of my uh, former managing directors, his father is a hundred. And uh, I think he was uh, marching last year. But this year, um, he's uh, being looked after. And uh, his son was going round for a sing-song. So there you go, Marvis 100. My father would have been, uh, wait till we see, 95. So there you are. And he was a para in the Second World War. But I think there are no First World War veterans left now. And that brings us on to the, how long do you think remembrance should carry on? Should it carry on a ad infinitum? Ad infinitum? Or is it something... <coughs> do beg your pardon <coughs> there you are that's it and uh, is it something that um, we should maybe say well 
It's a hundred years since the First World War now, since the First World War finished, hundred years next year, is it time to um, stop the remembrance ceremonies or do we carry on? So there you go. Uh, looking good, Scotty. Eh? Thank you very much, Momo. Momo McTavish there. Marvellous to have you with us. Neil O'Gormley, dinky do. Um, I never gave him that name, Scotty. It was the poor Squaddies who died. Yes, I mean, there's been all these comments, lions led by donkeys, etc., etc. But you've also got to look at the historical revisionists and see what was what. And I don't think it's right that uh, Field Marshal Haig takes the blame for uh, for everything that went on in the First World War. I remember as Sunday is about remembering the men, women, past, present, who have lost their lives of what we have. I wear my poppy 365 days a year, says Angie Thompson. Good for you, Angie. I have my poppy here, as you can see. And uh, there we are. So we've got everything uh, tonight all sorted out. Um, Andy Hood's watching, did you do? Stevie Ling, uh, excellent. Come on, Stevie, and say your piece. So there we are. These are the people that love to argy bargy with me, Scotty McClue, live on Facebook Live. Ian Pugh and Martin Owens, lovely to have you with us as well. Right, what does everybody think of Remembrance? Let's have your comments, because remember, you're watching Scotty McClue. I am the world's top broadcaster. I'm the first lord of the internet. Time is extremely tight, so we need to get you on as quickly as possible, and we'll have share points. But if you can share, 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 share throughout the evening, that would be fabulous. Let everybody know it's on, because still, I think, we're being slightly affected by the change in time from 10 o'clock until 9 o'clock in the evening. Angela Goodless watching. Thank you, do, Angela. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, and we're live on Facebook Live. We are global. Let's know where you're watching. Uh, we'd like to see a video of Dame Vera Lynn and BBC One last night when Alfie Bull was singing, especially as it was her 100th birthday this year. Vera Lynn, yes, fantastic. I remember Vera Lynn performing. I remember it vividly. There'll be bluebirds over the white cliffs of Dover. Uh, tomorrow, just you wait and see. Uh, there'll be love and laughter and peace forever after. So there you go. Uh, lest we forget, without those heroes, see more, says Stevie Lane. I can't see more, Stevie, because sometimes we lose the broadcast. Hi, Scoppy. Hope you're well, says Angela Goodlett. Um, don't the present armed forces get National Armed Forces Day, says Martin Holden. Yes, they do, Martin, as far as I understand. And, of course, there's Veterans Day in America. You'll see I um, shared um, the commemorations yesterday in Canada and in, uh, in America. Uh, I shared them on Facebook with you all. So you should have shares of that if you check back. Scotty McClure there. So, yes. Definitely, there's no problem about that. And you're quite right, Stevie Lane, lest we forget. You know, when they looked up and said, how long will you remember us? And here we are, 100 years on, 100 years later. I don't know how many of you watched the um, Royal British Legion Festival of Remembrance from the Albert Hall on a Saturday night. I watched it last night, and at the conclusion of that, the poppies fall. It was in the presence of of Her Majesty the Queen and uh, His Royal Highness uh, the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip, and the rest of the royal family were in attendance as well. So there you are. John O'Rourke's watching. Dinky do, John. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. This is our one hour program for, uh, Sunday nights. Nothing gets past me, of course. And this is program 56. So it started just as a little bit of fun. And here we are. 56 programs later. Uh, Airbus Road Cemetery has a couple of soldiers' headstones in it. They wanted to get rid of them. Oh, the scandal, says Angie Thompson. I would quite believe it, Angie. Yes, indeed. And of course, um, Scotty, will we ever see you on uh, I'm a Society? Get me out of here. Um, would be good viewing, says Jonathan Welch. Well, I very nearly got on Big Brother. But the reason they knocked me back is they said, you've worked in television. I said, so what? They said, we all know what we are up to. And I said, well, I'm not going to tell anybody, am I? And they said, I'm not sure we can take the risk. So that's how it works, guys. 
Uh, always remember about the boys that didn't want to fight and the ones that were shot for so-called cowardice. Uh, remembrance for me is a waste of lives for nothing. So there you are, says Ian Walker. So a waste of lives for nothing. Well, that's a very, very big debate, Ian Walker. You know, mobilization in the First World War. I think a lot of people didn't realize quite what they were letting themselves in for, what the mud of Passchendaele and the Somme and Vimy Ridge would be like. But um, having said that, uh, Second World War, 1940, a meeting with Churchill, uh, should this country surrender? If we surrendered, would we get to keep the Royal Navy? Would we get to keep India under British uh, control? And things like that. So it was being looked at. And then it was Churchill himself that said, no, we fight, fight them. So there you are. Uh, and the appeasement people were, of course, accused of treason and being weak and cowards and all that sort of thing, which I think was actually very, very wrong to accuse the appeasers of that because they were doing it for all the right reasons. So there we are. Uh, is this now the regular time for your show, Scotty? Or is that a special time for remembrance only? No, we've moved to nine o'clock because people were getting a bit tired. They had work in the morning. They'd got young families. They had to get up for school, etc., etc. And they're saying, is there any chance it could be a little bit earlier, Scotty? So I thought, right, when the clock changes, let's move the show to nine o'clock Greenwich Mean Time. Because remember, people are watching this all over the world. It's a global show, and you'll see that. Um, up in the wee cemetery, there's two graves of soldiers of the Bicycle Regiment. At the bottom, it says um, that they got a puncture. Um, if that's serious, Ian, if you're trying to be light-hearted about it, then uh, I'm not so amused, obviously. Uh, but we'll see what's what. Uh, so there you are, John O'Root. Yes, 9 o'clock sharp, Greenwich Mean Time on Sunday evenings for one hour of Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, just for you, saying dinky-doo. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live, just for you, saying dinky-doo. Michael Yule's watching, lovely to have you as Will McIntosh. Excellent. Come on and join us and put your point. We're discussing Remembrance and Remembrance Sunday. Uh, share. So there we are. Uh, TY for the answer. 9 p.m. is good with me, says John Arook. Excellent. Yes, 9 p.m. Excellent. We're beginning to buffer a tiny bit there. Very, very popular program. Good evening, Scotty, says Janet Muir. Janet, good evening to you and Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue and everybody on the Scotty McClue Facebook Live show. Excellent stuff. Share it and share it. Stuart McKenna's there, dinky do, Stuart. Lovely to have you with us as well. Feel free to come on. If you've just joined us, folks, a very warm welcome. We start at 9 o'clock sharp. We finish at 10 o'clock sharp. The message is just getting out there, obviously with very, very high figures for the 10 o'clock show. Um, and uh, people are just finding out that we're at 9 o'clock. So they're going to come along at 10 o'clock and uh, seek out the show and think, oh no, but they'll see the video there and they can, of course, share that. Excellent. You're watching Scotty McClue, capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. That's the Scotty, the McClue, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. Now, as you know, Scotty McClue receives applause or derision on his merits. So if you'd like to contribute to the show, if you go to gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue or paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue. Stick something in there. I like your headwear, says Erica Mayer. Erica, this is what we call in Scotland the Glen Gary. So there you are. This is the Glen Gary. Excellent stuff. That's what we call it in Scotland. And um, I, the other one is the Balmoral, of course. But the Glen Gary, worn by a lot of uh, Scottish infantry regiments. So there we are. Best TV on Facebook, says Andy Brooks. Andy Brooks. I thank you. We have said that never on television will you get anything like this. So there you are, because I think the days of live television have, uh, rightly or wrongly, gone. But I just know that if this was put on television tonight, there would be a massive audience. If we opened up the telephone lines, 
there would be an even more massive audience. So there we are, a big winner. Excellent stuff. Mick Simon's watching, Dinky Doo Mick. Uh, any more news on going more than once a week, Scotty? Uh, Steve, I, 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 as usual, I can't disclose too much, but there are very high level conversations go on during the week with very senior people in the broadcast industry who are very keen to have Scotty McClue, but have to obviously work out the detail. So these things do take time. Rome wasn't built in a day. From little acorns, great oaks grow. All that sort of stuff. <coughs> Is there a whiskey called Glen Gary? Says Erica. To my knowledge, Erica, um, and I have a, a reasonable knowledge of whiskies, um, although I don't take them myself now. Um, I think that uh, there isn't one called the Glen Gary, but there is the River Gary in Persia. It, uh, you've got the River Brewer, which comes down the Brewer Falls, and um, that's in the little village of Brewer there. So there you are, up where the house of Brewer is, at the side of that are very spectacular falls called the Brewer Falls, and the River um, Brewer uh, flows out and joins the River Gary as far as I remember, at the point. So there you are, the point. There's a point where they join. Hello from East Kilbride Taxis. I hope you're well today as well. Yes, the TOA in East Kilbride. Very well. And a big dinky do to you. Excellent stuff. Uh, spill the beans, Scotty, says Rab. Rab, you know I can't do that. Scotty McClue is one of the most trusted men on the planet. So there we are. And uh, people that know me know that if I say to them, you'll never hear about this again, then they don't hear about it. They know that if they say, is there any way this can be around, I can have it around the world by lunchtime. So there you are. Harry Patch, the last Tommy, died this year, uh, and they should all be remembered on both sides, says Ian Walker. Absolutely. Uh, so there we are. Hi from Liverpool, says Martin Owens. Do he do, Martin? Lovely to have you on from Liverpool. A wonderful place. A place I'm very, very fond of. Excellent stuff. So there we are. Martin's on from the pool. Dinky do to you from me, Scotty McClue. Thanks, Angie, says Erica Mayer. Excellent stuff. So Angie must be chit chatting back and forward there. John Tom is watching. Lovely to have you with us, John. Dinky do. Um, what have we got? Oh, guys, we're past the share point. Can we share, 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 share? Share, 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 share. You're watching Scotty McClue. S C O T T I E M small C capital C L U E. We are, of course, live, big style, on Facebook Live. So there we are. Also, fond regards to everybody in the Great Yorkshire Radio area. Great Yorkshire Radio, one of our wonderful radio stations in this country. Try and catch it if you're on Twitter at Great Yorkshire Radio. And uh, you'll see it on Facebook there. Also, www.greatyorkshireradio.co.uk. As I've said, this show must make TV. It's just common sense, says Alex Robertson. Absolutely. I think your problem with TV is so, so funny because people nowadays say, oh, we mustn't discriminate against males and females and, and um, cross-dressers and transvestites and um, people of, of mixed gender and people of mixed race and we mustn't have any ageism and we mustn't have any weightism and we mustn't have any... All this stuff, which I absolutely agree with, but... Why is Scotty McClure not live on your television right now? Why are we not get access to the telephones? And that means that a television station need to waken up, smell the coffee, look at my track record in attracting massive audiences to television and radio programs and think, let's do it. Let's get the big man live for half an hour between 10 and half past 11 and midnight whatever, 11 and half past, half past 11, midnight, doesn't matter, hit the phones and let's get the people talking because right across the world there is a huge raft of loneliness and people would like some company that doesn't cost them. If you listen to the Scotty McClue interview with the two grumpy critics from America, now you'll see it bobbing up on Scotty McClue's Facebook page. Make sure you listen to everything, watch everything, share everything, right? 
Very, very, very important. People will appreciate it immensely. Excuse me a second. I'm just going to do a quick bit of maintenance here. There we go. Whoa. It's roasting hot in the studio, as per usual. And, uh, of course, McClure's face boils up with the lights on. Um, bring on, bring on. Evening, Mr. McClure, says Sean Moore. Hi, Scotty. TV might be scared of you, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. What is there to be scared of, Steve? I ask you. A great programme. The First World War in Numbers has been on. The Spanish flu killed more people than the war itself. I didn't know the flu originally came from America, says Ian. So there you are. Scotty, your lampshade squint. Get it sorted. I must have maybe knocked it, have I? No, no, that's right as well. It's, it's sort of a, a jaunty angle. A bit like myself. So there you are. But if you're a, a perfectionist, if you're a wee bit OCD there, then let's sort it out for you. Yes, the show on TV would be a great asset to any channel, says Alec. Sandy out and sorry I'm late, Scotty. I get held up by a cyclist. Sandy, that joke's wearing a wee bit thin now. You've never been held up in your life. You just need to start making the right decisions. Dinky do, Scotty. Great interview with the grumpy ones, says Dave Harley. Did you get it, Dave? I think it is myself. Although I say it myself, I think it's a fabulous interview because the lovely thing about the grumpy ones on Radio 6 International is that they know what questions to ask. And they give you a chance to answer it, you know. There's a programme on national radio in the morning and the guy interviews politicians and stuff. Great interviewer, but sometimes he doesn't give them a chance to actually get their answer in uh, without jumping in. How's the doggy after the fireworks last week? The darn things are still going off, says Angie Thompson. Yes, Angie. He, um, the problem is he just stops, he freezes when we're out for a walk in the fields and stuff. And I have to say, come on, come on, it's okay. And uh, eventually we get him to go along and the tail goes down, which is very unusual for that wee dog, because that tail revolves. If it was a left-handed thread, uh, you would have to keep putting it back on again. Scotty, do you still love the fat women? Says Kevin Pearson. So there you are. Absolutely. And um, I've asked the BBC to drop Blue Planet and bring on McClue. Says Gordon Stilling. Ah, Gordon, you've picked one of the most popular programmes ever. The wonderful, the wonderful David Attenborough. So there you are. What a, what a marvellous programme that is. Here in the frozen wasteland, where nothing stirs, there is only one resident who blends into the Arctic tundra, the Arctic fox. Wonderful man. There we are. Scotty, do you think Alex Salmon deserves criticism for being on um, RT? No, I think that's his choice. And people can be a little bit paranoid about the whole thing. I mean, it's very good to have competition to our national public service broadcaster so that you can get a balanced view, right? And it's a bit like I used to read books on everything. And I used to read everything I could on everything. Well, I still do. I don't know what I'm saying. I used to fuck because I do it all the time. But I wanted to get the facts. And you always get the truth from McClue. And I had to pull somebody up on Facebook for Googling stuff and putting it up as if he just discovered Google, right? Very, very strange. Anybody can do that. But it's your own original thoughts people are after in a debate. What do you think? And of course, then you've uh, what you've done you've inwardly digested all the knowledge all the facts all the ideas all the thoughts all the advice all the people that were involved at the time uh, the historical revisionists and then you say i can now give you an answer i can put my hand on my heart tell you what's happening here and tell you what i think about it that's what we're wanting in debate not somebody just going i'll, I'll go and get a google and tell you uh, all that sort of stuff Scotty, what reg is the cap? What reg? Um, oh, what regiment is the cap? It's it's the Glengarry. It's um, it's the Highland Regiment, right? Be worn by the Argyles or the Golden Highlanders, um, and uh, or I would think the Highland Light Infantry. So there you go. Uh, excellent stuff. Uh, agree, says Ian Walker. Good, Scotty. What's your opinion on the M&S ad? So there you are. <laughs> 
<laughs> so there we go. Right. Well, I'm not going to comment on individual adverts, to be quite honest with you. And uh, that brings me on to the fact that if you run a business and uh, you want your advertising to work, speak to me. I'll either appear on it or do a voiceover for you for Christmas. And uh, then uh, I would be very surprised if that doesn't shove up your footfall or your sales. Um, just another tentacle for our independence. So there we are, says Ian Walker. Yes, absolutely. Although I noticed with one or two anti-monarchists on. Now, tot, 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 tot. One, the monarchy is nothing to do with the political process for independence. Why involve it, right? Two, if you give the impression that you're anti-monarchist, it's a nail in the coffin of independence. They're less likely to look upon it favorably. All right. Very, very important. Also, remember, the queen is the queen of us all. There was one half-witted idiot was saying, she's not my queen. She is your queen. Newsflash. All right. My Uncle Sandy was injured and captured at St. Valery. I visited there, says Sandy Howden. Was he with the 51st Highland Division, Sandy? I think they were there, weren't they? Um, I have a business. It's called Mind Your Rain, says Angie. I love the two old businessmen that meet. And one says, I've known you for 40 years, and you've never even asked me about my business. And he said, how is your business? He went, whoa, don't ask. So there you are. Uh, excellent stuff. Uh, I say what you like, um, says Rab. Say what you like. It's money, cash in the hip pocket. So there we are. Gary Cross is watching, Ian Swanson's watching, Dinky Doo Ian. Lovely to have you with us. Wonderful man, great radio man there. Excellent stuff. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome, folks. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, capital S, small c, O double T I E. That's the Scotty the McClue, capital M, small c, capital C L U E. We're live on Facebook Live. We are global. Let me know where you're watching the program and dinky doo.